The Conservative Party of Canada leadership race is well underway with over 600,000 members signed up and six candidates vying for their support. One of these candidates is Dr. Leslin Lewis, who ran in the 2020 leadership race and has since become a member of parliament. Now, the legacy media often likes to ignore Lewis, but we don't. So I went to an event she held at Ottawa's Greenbelt Church to ask attendees some questions, starting with why they are supporting Leslin Lewis for leader. I've liked Dr. Leslin since she first appeared on the scene for the first leadership uh, race. Uh, I like that she's a woman of integrity, that she honestly answers all questions, that she's not scared and she doesn't run away from things that uh, some people can consider political taboo right now. So yeah, I, uh, I appreciate her honesty, her integrity. I think she's a good, strong candidate. I was uh, happy to come see her two years ago when she ran for the leadership. And I'm a political junkie, so I, I like these events. But I really wanted to hear her message tonight, and I wanted to see how uh, she uh, presented to the crowd, and how the crowd received her, and how she handled the questions and answers. I think she did really, really well tonight. She's a strong candidate. She has grown a lot as an MP. And I think that um, she's going to do very well in the uh, leadership vote in September. I'm really excited to endorse Dr. Leslie Lewis. She, she brings an enthusiasm and a, and a value set that I think is really needed in Canada. Uh, she's, she's poised uh, to take on Justin Trudeau in the, in the general election, and I can't wait to, to see her stacked up against Justin Trudeau. Uh, she brings uh, a humility and a, and a desire for, uh, to lead this country in, in, the, in a good way. I've been following her quite a bit, and so I came on a couple of weeks after she announced her candidacy uh, because I believe she's principled, I believe she's honest, I believe she's compassionate, and that I believe she has a vision for Canada to restore Canada uh, to at least what it was, and even I think she'll take it to the next level. Conservatives have lost to Justin Trudeau three times, allowing him to stay in power and put in place policies which some have deemed harmful and divisive. So I wanted to ask the attendees what they think the party needs to do differently in order to win the next election. I, I think the most important thing is that conservatives need to be proud about their values and speak out um, you know confidently and not just try to appease the the left I think that that was what uh, was done last time and it didn't really work out that well I, I want a conservative who's going to uh, speak up for for what I believe in which is um, you know a lot of just Canadian values that I think a lot of uh, a lot of Canadians share I guess they have to stay on message they have to let the public know exactly what they stand for. Don't make the message too complicated. Make it very simple and understandable and speak to the basic issues that people are concerned about, like inflation, which is affecting everybody right now. So those bread and butter issues, I think, are what are going to win people over. A number of things is just to remain uh, remain true to who we are as Conservatives, uh, bring forward policies that will make life more affordable for Canadians, uh, and bring, bring forward policies that make Canada the freest country in the world. Well, I think we as Conservatives need to make sure that we're united uh, as a caucus and as a party, and that we're firing on all cylinders, that we get our message across clearly of uh, hope, love and compassion, exactly what Leslin's campaign is all about. Uh, hope, unity and compassion and I, I think that's going to be a huge thing. If we can communicate th that vision to Canadians, I think they're ready for it because I think they're tired of Justin Trudeau and all of his cronies. Leslin Lewis is the only pro-life candidate in this leadership race and legacy media pundits often like to say that the Conservative Party could never win an election with a pro-life platform or a leader. So I wanted to ask these attendees how they see Conservatives winning with a pro-life message. I like the way Leslin talked about it tonight, Dr. Leslin, in that she talked about the fact that we just need to be able to talk about it honestly and openly, that we can find common ground to talk about. I thought that was a, a brilliant answer. And as she said, there's a lot of Canadians that are willing to talk about the fact that we don't want sex-selective abortion. A lot of Canadians that don't worry that you can, that, that Canadians are going to the States because they can't find a doctor here that will abort a six-month, seven-month, eight-month-old baby. And so they go to the States for a doctor who will do it there. Many Canadians don't realize that. So we, I think it's, we can have those conversations and it's okay. 
I think if it's presented the right way, and as Dr. Lewis said today, uh, it starts with a conversation. So if they can convince Canadians to have the conversation and to talk about legislation and to talk about the issue in an intelligent and kind and respectful way, I think anything is possible, but you have to start somewhere, and starting with the conversation is probably the best way. Well, we've never tried it before, so uh, I would say that, uh, that we look to, look to other countries, we look to the United States, the Republicans are winning, uh, running on a pro-life platform uh, extensively. We look to the UK, even the UK Conservatives are reducing abortion from uh, 22 weeks down to 20 weeks. Uh, so th these are things that are winning issues ar around the world. Conservatives are, are motivated by these issues and uh, would come out to vote in support of an explicitly pro-life candidate. I think it's a matter of education. I think uh, by far and large Canadians believe that there is protection for Canada's pre-born and, uh, and I think when they find out that there's no protection I think they're actually appalled and they'd be very willing at, uh, to have an open and honest dialogue about those issues. I also had the opportunity to interview Dr. Leslin Lewis and I asked her some of the questions I had asked the attendees, including what she thinks the Conservatives need to do differently in order to win the next election, as well as how she would convey her pro-life message in light of potential attacks and distortions from the left and the media. Conservatives have failed three times to uh, beat Justin Trudeau. What do you think they have to do differently to make sure that he does not get a fourth mandate? I think Conservatives just need to be Conservatives and not be afraid of the issues, be courageous and put forth issues that are going to advance our country and uh, prosper the nation. Right. Um, the legacy media says that there's no way that uh, Conservatives can win on a pro-life uh, uh, platform. Uh, you are the only pro-life candidate in this race. If you were to win, you would likely face an, uh, a, a string of attacks from the Liberals, the NDP and the media claiming that, claiming that you want to take away a woman's right to choose. How would you combat that and how would you be f effective in, you know, showing and sharing your, your vision without it being, you know, twisted and, and, and interpreted the wrong way? I think it's important that you always find common ground uh, between Canadians and so that's what I look for. I look for, for policies that unify Canadian and so all of my policies have encouraged people to have conversations and to find policies that we can all agree on and there are a number of life policies that the majority of Canadians agree on and I think that is where we, we should be as a nation. And that concludes our report on Leslie Lewis's campaign event. For the latest objective, independent coverage of the Conservative leadership race, be sure to check out tnc.news and consider supporting us by making a donation. For True North, I'm Ili Quintenantel.